Well, a hot dog stand might seem like an unlikely place for a win contest, but Steve Ballas, owner of Steve Staff and Dogs, happens to love wings. And you know what? So do I. Today, we're going to try a lot of them and hopefully pick a favorite. You know what, Steve's were all about food, so we've had several of these contests, Heidi. We've had the best tasting steak, we've had the cupcakes, we have best mac and cheese, um, and we broadcast all these live on the Gabby Gourmet Show. So it's just kind of a, a way to bring all the restaurants together and have a lot of fun. This is the sauce. This is what makes it really sing. We're very proud of our wings, so we're hoping to win. Our chicken wings are first uh, cone feed and duck fat for about 24 hours. And bacon wrapped char shoe. So they get rubbed, smoked, uh, braised be briefly in the oven with a little bit of water and whiskey, of course. Be a lot of a lot of wing tasting going on here, I'll tell you. 16 restaurants from all over town brought their signature wings, and most of which were non-traditional. Would you like to try a peach habanero wing? Greg Moss isn't shy. Bring on that finger-licking foul. I am a huge wing fan. I'm a huge food fan. I'm a huge anything that I can put in my mouth. Bang. Well said. Now it's time to eat. Cheers. Cheers. We don't know whose wings are whose. The contest is simply based on what tastes the best. Ranking the wings from one to five. One being the lowest and five being the highest. And of course, everyone has their favorite. I like the first one quite a bit. The nice thing about this contest is that most of the wings have their own distinct flavor. The bad part? I feel <laughs> There's no stopping, though, until we've tried every last one. And the numbers are totaled. And the bragging rights in this wing challenge go to... Wings Barbecue. And there you have it, the winner of the Steve Snappin' Dog's Best Wing Contest. Points barbecue. It's a lot of hard work. I need a nap. I need a big <laughs> Wing wang.